The new research facility has been set up to find more efficient ways to cool down data centers, especially those in tropical climates. It will bring together academics and industry players to test bed cooling technologies. These solutions could save data centers at least 20% in energy used. Well, that means data centers can see savings in cost and lower their carbon footprint. Well, this liquid immersion cooling system here is among the solutions being tested at the new facility. Liquids are better able to transfer heat than air and can reduce energy consumption of up to 40% for the entire data center. Led by the National University of Singapore and the Nanyang Technological University, this lab provides a space for experts to research and companies to test out new cooling methods in hot and humid countries like Singapore. About 20 industry players such as Meta and Dell Technologies are part of research efforts. Studies are also ongoing to establish the optimum temperature and humidity points for air cooling in the tropics. It may take about two years for these solutions to be rolled out on a wider scale. The challenge is actually more of retrofitting existing the data center, which already have its existing cooling infrastructure. So in that case, then the cost uh, will be actually a consideration. Yeah. But I think the regardless, what uh, the operators and their tenants should be considering is actually the total cost of ownership. At the opening of the facility, Minister of State for, in for Trade and Industry Elvin Tan says global demand for data centres will continue to grow. Singapore plays a crucial role in setting new standards in sustainable data centres. This facility will pilot commercializable solutions. This forces an environment to translate theory into practice. For example, the facility will trial and facilitate commercial deployment of an integrated air and liquid cooling technology system. This will enable industry players to better assess financial and operating costs of adopting this particular technology in real time. 